What's up folks, you seen the title, we gonna do French toast today, so let's go. All right, so here are the ingredients we're gonna use for today's recipe, let's do roll call. We have six thick slices of brioche uh, bread here. Take a look at that, look at that slice. We have three whole eggs, one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, now, if you don't have heavy whipping cream, you can use milk, but I recommend heavy whipping cream with, for this particular recipe. A fourth of a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a cup of sugar, an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, a tablespoon of brown sugar, and a tablespoon of butter. So this is all you need, guys. Not that many ingredients, but man, watch how this thing plays out. So. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is combine all our ingredients with the exception of the bread, of course, the vegetable oil and the butter. So let's start here with our heavy whipping cream, our sugar, eggs, brown sugar, salt, vanilla extract, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And all we're gonna do guys is get that a good mix. And we want to mix this until the cinnamon and the nutmeg is dissolved. Guys, and this is what we have. All right, let's go ahead and continue. So what we want to do now is we want to bring over a shallow dish, something like this, and we want to pour our milk mixture in here just like that. Now let's start soaking our bread. So what you want to do is you want to take your bread and you want to place it in here in your mixture and you wanna let it sit in here for about, you know, 10 to 20 seconds, but depending on how thick your bread is, it determines how long you want it in there. So I'm gonna let mine sit in there about 20 seconds. If you got, if you use a regular sliced bread, you don't wanna do it that long. What it end up doing is your bread will soak up too much of the, the uh, moisture and then it'll tear apart. So uh, that's why it's, it's best that you don't use regular sliced bread, or if you do use regular sliced bread, make sure that it's a thicker slice white bread. So we're gonna let that sit in there. Now I'm gonna turn it over. And be careful when you turn it over. You definitely don't wanna tear it apart. It's supposed to be soft, but it shouldn't tear apart. So if, you, if it's tearing apart, you're leaving it in there too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these now. I'm gonna sit him over here on a, just on a, a, a little baking sheet. And then I'm going to, one more, I'm gonna cook about three at a time. So we're gonna let that sit there for about 10 to 20 seconds. All right, we're gonna turn that baby over. And why I like using heavy whipping cream rather than milk, because your bread will really soak up that milk really quick, so the heavy whipping cream is better. All right, now we're gonna remove that. All right, guys, this is what we have right here, so let's go ahead and move over to our stove. So today we're gonna to cook on our stove rather than our cooktop. So we're gonna add our olive oil, I'm sorry, vegetable oil, and our tablespoon of butter. And we're gonna get that melted and up to temperature. All right, so it looks like we're up to temper so temperature, so we're gonna start adding our French toast. Well, it's not French toast yet, but it's almost. So you wanna let these cook for about three to five minutes per side on a medium heat. So what you wanna do now is you wanna check to see if they're browning on this side right here. So it looks like we got a light brown color. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to take some sugar and we're gonna sprinkle it over the top of our toast just like this. And this is gonna help it caramelize on the other side because we're gonna cook this side, the side that we're on now, we're gonna cook it twice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our French toast over. And now we're gonna cook this side for about three to five minutes. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to sprinkle some more sugar on this side right before we turn this over. And we're gonna cook this side again until it's brown, a little bit darker brown. So we're gonna go ahead and flip these over. Oh man, look at that. Oh, the perfect color French toast right here, man. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about right there. So we want the other side to be, have that same type of uh, color on it, just like that. Man, that's what I'm talking about right there. 
All right, guys, so it looks like we are there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn our heat off. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove these from the pan, cook our other three, and then we're gonna move them over to a cut board or either a plate, and then we're gonna go into our final presentation. All right, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take some, um, some powdered sugar, and I'm just gonna take this sifter, cause I don't have one of those things where you can sift it, like turn it, turn it where the uh, flour comes out, but we just kinda wanna sift some powdered sugar over the top. Oh man, guys, what do you think about that? And we're gonna come across that or over that, with some fresh blueberries, along with some, some sliced strawberries. Oh man, a few of them strawberries on top like that. Guys, what do you think about that? And the last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add some nice syrup over that thing. Oh man, take a look at that. And there you have it guys, the best French toast recipe. Go ahead, go to the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video. I wanna get the conversation started there. Let me know if you got another way that you make your French toast, I'd love to hear about it. So guys, remember the measurements and the ingredients are all in the video description below. So go ahead, check it out. And right now let's get into quality control cause I'm ready, let's go. All right, the best part of the show, quality control, because we get to taste our creation. Man, look at these. It's Prince Toast. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Without further ado, I love me some Prince Toast, too. So let's get into it. Mmm. Oh, man. I feel like my boy Kevin Samuels. What the Prince Toast? <laughs> Shout out to the Godfather, Kevin Samuels. Mmm, man, this is great. Mm. To me, French toast is much better than um, pancakes, waffles. I'm not gonna even go as far as saying biscuits, because man, let me tell you something. If you got some good Southern buttermilk biscuits, man, these French toast, baby, them buttermilk biscuits run neck to neck with that French toast. So, guys, check out this recipe. You're gonna love it. So until then, I'm your cook, Spinelli. This is all wings, everything. Oh, one more time. What the French toast? Shout out to Kevin Sandy. And remember, I ain't no chef. I just cook a lot and I am out. Peace.